Aston Villa took on promoted Swindon Town in the Premiership in February 1994. The West Country side were bottom of the league and clearly struggling at the highest level. Villa, though, had been enjoying a good season. Eighth in the league, still in the FA Cup and with a League Cup semi-final against Tranmere to come. Manager Ron Atkinson had a depleted squad to pick from, though, and that meant Earl Barrett was forced to play as an emergency centre-half. There were two changes from the side that had beaten Leeds in their last game. Neil Cox came in at right-back, and Steve Froggart, normally a winger, was at left-back. Robins boss John Gorman handed a premiership debut to John Sheffield in goal in place of Mickey Hammond. Jan Argafjortov was hoping to continue his impressive scoring run, which had included a hat-trick in a recent win over Coventry. Swindon were in good form going into this match, having won their last two premiership games. History wasn't on the Robins side, though. You had to go back to 1969 for their last triumph at Villa Park. And they started this match very much as the underdogs. Your match commentator is John Champion. Villa will not be stronger favourites in any game they play this season. Despite a patchy home record. Because Swindon rock bottom of the table as they have been from day one. And immediately it's a Villa free kick. Given for a foul on Dean Saunders. Five home defeats for Aston Villa so far. Ray Houghton. And out to the skipper, Kevin Richardson. Not really enough to worry the debutant goalkeeper, John Sheffield. into the side at two days notice because of injuries to Fraser Digby and to Nicky Hammond who is fit enough only for the bench today Sean Taylor's header Nyholt that's a foul from behind by Earl Barrett John Monker Fjotoft now Nicky Summerby a few better crosses of a ball in the Premier League there's no one at the back post but it is a corner conceded by Neil Cox who's asking for a bit more communication from his goalkeeper Swindon Boyd by having won their last two games against Tottenham and Coventry two of only four wins all season long and all of those victories have come at the county ground referee's assistant slightly unhappy with the placing of the ball it's John Moncur to take this met by Paul McGrath twice this player in the Villa team at 34 Monker faced by Houghton and Richardson this is a reasonable spell of Swindon pressure now as usual Sean Taylor has come forward for this Corner taker has changed. It's going to be Kevin Horlock. Goalkeeper Bosnich with a firm punch, and then via his own player Saunders behind for a corner. Swindon looking for a positive start to go with their two recent wins. Nicky Summerby, there's Kilcline, hooked high by Andy Townsend, and it's Townsend who'll bring it clear, not for long, Martin Ling, Moncur, slightly awkward for McGrath, but he's found Barrett, Barrett has found touch, it's a Swindon throw. John 
Gorman with David Hay, his assistant in the foreground there. Saunders, let's kill Klein. Cox, jumping with arm up raised, but it's play on with Neil Cox. Townsend. Richardson, Villa strong in midfield. Steve Proggett. Now Tony Daly. First time that Villa have exhibited any sort of platform in this game. Offside flag is raised against Ray Houghton. struggle for Swindon to come to terms with life in the top flight it's their first season at this level promoted via the playoffs that thrilling 4-3 win over Leicester at Wembley major achievement to reach this level having joined the league way back in 1920 how long can they stay here Townsend and Summerby together Swindon's ball at least Swindon haven't conceded the early goal that's cost them dear so frequently already this season Houghton Cox Sean Taylor Richardson and the shots a snapshot really from Saunders another threat to John Sheffield's goal hasn't scored the weight of goals this season that maybe Villa might have liked <laughs> spinked off the Villa bench to retrieve the ball Saunders Damian Atkinson jumped and made no contact Townsend Cox. Again, Andy Townsend. And that is not a moment which he'll care to be reminded of. Ended up far closer to the corner flag than the goal. Good. That was awkward for Taylor. There's a big roar for handball. Robbie Hart says merely corner. Taylor just pointing out where he claims the ball struck him. Approaching the half hour mark here at Villa Park. Richardson. Goalkeeper under some pressure. Tony Daly, who is as fleet of foot as any player in the Premier League. Atkinson. And that's the sort of centre on which strikers should thrive. Delivered at pace on the run by Daly. Atkinson up well, but couldn't keep the header down. Swindon's first win this season came in their 16th game. Queen's Park Rangers, the unfortunate victims. Summerby. Out by Barrett. Monker. Bending off Townsend. And having a pop. 
was a trundler of a shot, really. Townsend. Saunders. There's Nyholt. Richardson to Atkinson, who goes down. Taylor committed the foul. And this is just about within range. Kevin Richardson tends to manage these situations. Here's Ron Atkinson's eyes and ears out there on the pitch. Saunders and Houghton there to cause confusion amidst the Swindon wall. Struck from distance by Townsend, and it's a distance wide. John Sheffield, relatively unconcerned. Technically, he is only on loan from second division Cambridge. Relieved to get a chance of first team football at any level. He's been kept out of the Cambridge League team this season by a very promising young Australian they've recruited called John Phelan. Barrett. Passed away from Atkinson, but here's Richardson. And through the middle and onside is Andy Townsend. And now Dean Saunders, and Saunders opens the scoring for Villa. A goal that frankly had been coming for a while. But it took the two central midfielders, Richardson and Townsend, with an astute run to break open this creaky Swindon defence. Fine finish by Saunders. Here's Saunders. More animation about the Villa Park crowd now. Goal has helped that, and Saunders is having another go. Not one he'll care to recall too fondly. Especially as it went out for a throw. Too familiar position. Behind, away from home, and yet to win away from the county ground this season. Six draws, seven defeats, the most notable result, a 2-2 share of the spoils at Anfield. But generally, following Swindon on the road has been a thankless task this season. signalled by Robbie Hart and Dean Saunders' goal, his seventh in the Premier League this season, separates these sides, but in truth, there's a whole lot more than one goal in quality between Aston Villa and Swindon. Bare facts, though, are that Aston Villa lead Swindon by one goal to nil at the midway point of this Premier League game. Seeking out Fjortoft, Barrett was leaning into him, Barrett makes the tackle and Fjortoft and Swindon have a corner. And it's important from the visitor's perspective at least that the next goal is a Swindon goal. Not that they've scored that many this season. And they are without one of their leading strikers, Andy Much through injury today. scorer in fact is a fullback Paul Bowden driven by Summerby and the header by Taylor clearance from Daly back whence it came Nicky Summerby goalkeeper flaps at it came off Cox Townsend prevents a corner it's a promising opening to the second period though for Swindon Town and an anxious moment for Mark Bosnich Samovic. Tackle was by Daly.
on Kerr. And Samavi. Did well to get across in. Couldn't keep it within bounds, though. Swindon will take heart from this. Richardson. Houghton. Saunders. Houghton. Townsend. Kill Klein across in front of him. Townsend bites back. Houghton. Swindon unable to retain possession for long. Saunders. Here's Tony Daly. Three in the middle. Progress! It's two. And it's Steve Progress's first Premier League goal of the season. Slap bang in front of the Holt end. He doesn't score many. But he makes a habit of notching against Swindon. It's a memorable goal in an FA Cup tie down in Wiltshire a couple of seasons ago. Ron Atkinson with a two-goal lead to save up. Keith Scott. He's not renowned for his pace. But he's earned a corner out of Neil Cox. Scott, who was recruited from Wickham Wanderers for this Premier League campaign. post in by Moncur stooping was Atkinson Horlock free header straight at Mark Bosnich Sean Taylor who sneaked in over the top for Dean Saunders and Saunders is taken out by the goalkeeper and on his debut John Sheffield has conceded a penalty. Saunders upended. He knew what he was doing. Took it wide of a goalkeeper who was arriving at some pace. Sought and got contact. And now Sheffield faces a Saunders penalty. Goalkeeper who spent the first portion of the week training with Cambridge Reserves is beaten just for a third time in the Premier League. Not the best penalty that Dean Saunders has ever taken. And Sheffield got a big hand on that. Stamp their authority on this contest. Houghton, Dalian Atkinson, good save that. Who being very strict, you could argue that maybe Sheffield shouldn't have had the chance of making the stop. Scott. Richardson. Daly. Houghton, now Richardson, Ray Houghton, Atkinson, that was powerful. Fortunately for Swindon, pretty close to the goalkeeper. Progress. And this 30-something midfield of Aston Villa is running this match now. Houghton at 32, Townsend 30, Richardson is 31. Enterprise and spirit of Tony Daly on one wing. Kill Klein. It's untidy by Earl Barrett. Clattering into Keith Scott. And then Atkinson prevents the quick taking. Here's Monker. Bosnich seemed supremely confident that was always going to clear the bar. 
didn't strike the ball sweetly, John Wonka. One today would make it 10 points out of 12 for Villa. Building on their victory over Leeds here last weekend. Currently 10th, they could move up four places with a, a handsome win. Houghton. Atkinson. And it's fallen for Richardson! The workhorse of the team, as well as being the skipper, Kevin Richardson. Neat into play, there was a lucky bounce off Nyholt. And then space for Richardson to slot into the corner. Swindon to play after this just 22 points against their name at the foot of the Premier League table some of it sort of bad header well within goalkeeper Bosnich's compass though Cox Richardson they're now doing more or less as they please and here's Dwight York Daly inside him, Saunders too this is Daly and Atkinson York and still but no further, it's a penalty Luke Nyholt with the foul and no prizes for guessing who is going to claim the match ball not once but he hopes twice he's claimed it to take the penalty and if Dean Saunders beats John Sheffield for a third time he'll want that match ball for keeps six minutes to play Swindon outgunned and outclassed it's five a nap hand for Aston Villa Trick, two of them from the spot for Dean Saunders straight down the middle Scott for a consolation in this game for Swindon not from that attack well, true to form Swindon are keeping going but really going through the motions they've conceded six at Everton it's the third time so far this season they've let in five Liverpool and Southampton have also scored five against them Kilcline, Moncur and Moncur again it's not their day John Moncur with two chances to turn that in both of them thwarted season so far has lasted six months it must feel like six years for Gorman and Co Ron Atkinson took Villa to runners up position last season Jim Barron his coach barking out the orders in front of him Houghton. Atkinson and Kilcline got enough of it thing about Swindon they have a respectable midfield a useful striker in Fjertov but few reliable defenders it's another hefty defeat for the Premier League's bottom club Dean Saunders the scorer of a hat-trick for a Villa side now with 10 points from the last four fixtures they climb the table Swindon remain firmly rooted to its foot a very one-sided game and indeed another heavy defeat for Swindon Ultimately, their poorest defence proved to be the Wiltshire club's undoing.
John Gorman's side finished bottom of the Premier League with a record 100 goals conceded. Despite that win, it was another unfulfilling season for Aston Villa, who finished 10th.